Here's the latest on xtalks.com. Results from AstraZeneca's Phase 2B pathway clinical trial suggest that the antibody drug tezapelumab could offer a new treatment option for patients with severe uncontrolled asthma. Will the drug rival traditional corticosteroid medications? Hello, I'm Sarah Hand, editor and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of xtalks Vitals. The first-in-class anti-TSLP monoclonal antibody, which is being co-developed by AstraZeneca's biologics arm Metamune and Amgen, significantly reduced the annual asthma exacerbation rate compared with a placebo in the clinical trial. According to 2011 statistics from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, approximately 25 million people in the U.S. have asthma. Diagnoses of the inflammatory disease are on the rise, with asthma costs reaching upwards of $56 billion each year. In the PATHWAY trial, the clinical team investigated three different dosing regimens for tezapelumab. 70 milligrams or 210 milligrams every four weeks, or 280 milligrams every two weeks. All three treatment groups saw similarly significant reductions in the annual asthma exacerbation rate of 61, 71, and 66 percent, respectively. Patients included in the trial had a history of asthma exacerbations and uncontrolled asthma despite taking prescribed oral corticosteroids and other disease management medications. In addition, the trial found that patients taking tezapelumab showed an improvement in lung function regardless of the dose. A reduction in type 2 inflammatory biomarkers was also observed, suggesting the antibody drug could be appropriate for patients with and without 2T-driven asthma. Subscribe to the Xox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and others like it in the life science industry.